<laughs> so so hey everybody so today i'm gonna teach you how to actually make a model because a lot of guys actually don't know how to create like a basic model or yeah they just ask for everybody for their models and yeah it's much easier if you can create your own models and so yeah that's what i'm gonna teach you today so first of all i am gonna start off with create like a basic cube so create a cube and um a few of them didn't know yet um i'm gonna create like a shelf i don't know i mean um, a fence for this model um, tutorial so yeah so that's, I'm gonna start off to make like the base the stand of the fence so like I'm gonna make the pole okay so the size for the X I'm gonna do three times 6.25 because that's like the size of one Minecraft like pixel or something yeah so the the height of the pole I'm gonna do um, that's 40 times 6.25 so yeah and then this the sets um, I'm gonna do the same like the X three times 6.25 so yeah let's just drag this over here um, if you don't have the, those like icons right here um, I create created a little tutorial for um, like basic layout so um, I'm gonna teach you that in that tutorial so I will maybe leave a li link in the description so you might want to check that out if you don't know how to do that so the move step on here we're gonna do 6.25 and um, now we're gonna move this up just right there so then also the segments we're gonna add this one three because it was three times 6.25 hey guys so um, maybe a little tip if you don't know how many segments you got on your model so you just copy this um, first size of the segments you want to have so you just copy it with ctrl c paste it in here and then divide it by 6.25 because that's the micro pixel and I have 14 so you know how you how many segments you have so that's a little tip so enjoy the video then also the segments we're gonna add on this one three because it was three times 6.25 40 on this one and then same three so and uh, maybe a little handy thing for modeling is like the grounding shader and if you don't know how to get this like display thing you can just go on display and ground like ground shading lines okay so um yeah and then you see like the polygons of the object and that can really help you out for modeling so i i almost use this all the time so yeah so let's start off with the ball i just gonna name it like stance one Okay, and um, then we're gonna make the little plank on the on the stand actually. So yeah, I'm gonna start off with the height of three times six point twenty five, and then this is gonna be yeah two hundred is okay for me. And um, set um, like six point twenty five. Yes. And then we're gonna move this around to maybe like the top of here and um, because it isn't really fitting like the polygons in here we're gonna do um, so yeah we're gonna do 6.25 divided by 2 yep and that will do the half of like pixel n you can have this and now we're gonna add like the segments so we can see more of the polygons so this is gonna be um, 32 and 
this was 3 because you like the pixel height and this is 1 yep so I'm gonna drag this over here now I have like fence pasting so I'm gonna drag this pole over the other side so yeah like this and then also like the plank um, let's first name this so the plank and maybe one and this is gonna be second one so um yeah i can move this down maybe like this yeah that seems okay for me and then maybe like group these together group objects and we name this fence yes like this so maybe you want to remove this dots because you just don't want to have a random dots in the in your object so in the display we're gonna do this to none and yeah now we have like a basic fence and this is just like a method with just only cubes but um you can also just edit like the polygons for basic basic molding so we're gonna make all of this editable so you just select all all of those and you can create you can click on this icon but you can also press c on your keyboard and it will make it editable so yeah we're gonna go to polygon mode and in here you can actually like move this polygons up um yeah you will see like the arrows in here and you can move this up and if you press shift your keyboard uh, no i mean um control um yeah it will extrude so yeah that's what what i'm gonna do on each like pole thing i'm gonna add a nail maybe that could be nice so yeah one nail there one there one here and one there and um maybe a cool feature that you can have is like enable or disable a nail so i'm gonna have one plank and i'm gonna add like let me see hmm, wait i think it's in the character tag uh, yeah here a point morph so that's what we want to have if i can select this again so yeah the point morph so the basic um poses now with the nails on it so you just select those and we let it go back so now it this is the basic po pose um to be sure i just gonna delete this again and a new one because i'm not sure it will be like that because sometimes it's it goes back so to be sure i did it like this okay so the base pose is now like this and then we're gonna add a new post like we're gonna name this nail and then we can like extrude it so like this and yeah if you now you have a slider under here and now you can like disable or enable your nail so that's it's kind of nice so yeah then for the second plank i just gonna delete this so i don't have to do this again and drag it again over here mm, yeah i can name this to two again and drag it over here so yeah so yeah i think that's it for this tutorial so i created this um fence and um yeah for the next tutorial i will create like the texture the basic textures of actually this model so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and yeah that's it bye guys See you later.